Hey, hey, hey guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet. And we are here at Kaja no Ri, trying to finish off this mid-sized calibration mission. We got six out of the seven. And once we get the rest of these, we will be on our way to the next maintenance mission, which I'm not sure what that's going to be, but I suspect it's going to have to do with large species. So let's go ahead and jump back in here and get our gear set up. Yeah, I want to go ahead and make sure that we bottom fish and lure fish. And pilking works the best. Now we can't cast the pilker out very far with this rod, but I will tell you the blue one seems to be working really effectively, especially at night time. And it is key to fish during the peak periods to get these mid-sized fish, it seems like. There we go. There we go. Maybe this will complete this right off the bat. No, I think he's a little bit small. This is coming in a little bit too easy. Yep, double barrel mackerel. Narrow barred mackerel. <laughs> That's what I say, double, the, double barreled mackerel. Narrow barred mackerel. Talk about a tongue twister. Yeah, I usually record late at night, so by the time I am so daggone tired after an entire day, and I've been working my butt off all weekend trying to get things around the house. Looks like you almost got a bite there. Working my butt off trying to get things done around the home. Which is one of the reasons why I haven't been able to get as many videos out as I'd like. But yeah, the best thing to do is just kind of pan around since we just got a, a fish from that one direction, it may be a while before we get another bite casting that way. But I caught about half of them doing this and about half of them bottom fishing. Alright, looks like we're getting a bite on the bottom one. Yeah, we've had some near hits, near misses, whatever you want to call them, off the other one, but yeah, we're just waiting for him to fully take it here. There he goes. Yeah, now it's time to get him in. Oh yeah, this one definitely is at least big enough. And the only problem is, is he might be too big. <laughs> Yeah, we can't go over 140, I think it's 144 pounds. There he is. We got one. Ooh, another unique Japanese amberjack. Yeah, I got one in the last episode, too. Very nice. Now, he's not a personal record, so he's not as big as the last one was. But I will take him. Well, the morning just arrived. 
I had to stop for a second. See what my wife wanted. We'll go ahead and get a picture of this guy. Yeah, I like to get pictures of all the big, big fish that I catch, even if he's not as big as the first unique one. Still a decent fish, and still picture worthy. All right. Mission accomplished. Fish Finder 360 mid-size calibration. Well done. You've adeptly calibrated the Fish Finder 360 for medium-sized catches. That's 12,500 XP, one bait coin, and 50,000 cash. That one bait coin. You think they could give you a little bit more, don't you? As badly as we need them. <coughs> That's not bad. 120,314 for one day. I've made more than that, but I was catching a lot of small fish at the beginning. Fish Finder 360 Big Fish Fine Tune. Now we're getting to the big guys. Gear up for the penultimate Fish Finder calibration by targeting the largest fish in the waters. You need to catch the heaviest representatives of the local fauna, Pacific Bluefin Tuna, Yellowfin Tuna, Giant Grouper, and Striped Marlin, which weigh more than 198 at 198.42 pounds. After successfully landing these giants, return to the port administrator to activate the Fish Finder 360 on both your tablet and your rented boat. Hmm. Well, we have our new mission, and I think what we might do to start off with, since we're already here, might go ahead and try to see if we can't get a giant grouper. I think they're found here. I'm not sure that I've ever I've been trying for them here. I've been trying for other things, but might as well give that a go because we've already got the gear here. And if we don't get anything, we'll go up to the Tuna Highway and see if we can't troll for something. We are in the peak. It is a cloudy day, though. There's some iffy things about cloudy days. Most of the days have been partly cloudy. All right, let's look here on the map. See if there might be some other places that I marked. I can't remember if I marked the trophy giant grouper or not. I don't think I did. Yeah, see, I've got jack mackerel. A lot of these I'm going to end up removing. I've got a young giant grouper there. Mahi, mahi. More Mahi Mahi, yeah. Trophy Stripe Marlin. <coughs> now the unique Stripe Marlin I caught on the Tuna Highway. Yeah, I think I'm just going to stick probably around here, but let me see what I have marked. Yeah, I need to get the unique one of that. It looks like Green Job Fish is what I got. Just trying to figure out. I think I caught. That was where I got the Grouperzilla. I think. Yeah, I only have the young Grouper marked. Those are striped bonitos. Yeah, I haven't put markers down for everything that I caught unique wise or, or otherwise. And I really should have. I only put for the young giant Grouper there. So I need to decide whether I want to go down there, stick where I am. I thought I caught one up here. That my right here is I believe is where I caught one of my first ones. Yep, let's check check this one out here. I'm almost certain this is where I caught my very first one. I am seeing some fish on the fish viewer. Some of them are deep. Yep, there's some definitely deep there, and they look pretty good size. Let's just hope they're what we're after here, because there's lots of big fish in this ocean, that's for darn sure. The giant trevallis, the amber, greater amberjacks. They put some big blips up there, too. Let me see here. I do need to change my gear here a little bit. 
I'm gonna pick a bigger hook this time though. And I think a 16 saltwater curved hook will do it. And the Japanese spiny lobster. It seems like they go gaga over that. I'm not so sure there's any other species other than the grouper to go for that, so kind of singles them out, but I am going to get a bigger sinker here because I've only got a 9 on there. 14 ounce to do it. Yeah, I think if we bump all this up, we're going to have a less likely a chance of getting something small. And we'll stay focused on the giant grouper. Oh wow, something's nibbling in it already. Well, come on. Well, he tried. Well, hopefully he'll come back. Well, I'm going to go ahead and see what I can do about maybe catching something else just for a little bit of cash or XP. Alright guys, I am back. I did reposition the boat just a little bit because I was looking at the sonar and noticed that we were just right on the outer edge where all the fish were being shown. So I thought maybe here there's a lot more up on the sonar, especially bottom. See what I mean? Uh, yep, we got one. I didn't even get it down to the bottom yet. Alright, this is definitely a good size fish. Meh, maybe. Maybe not. It's coming in a little bit too easy. Yeah, a little bit too easy, guys. I don't know what it is, but... It's not a giant grouper. Oh, giant trevally. 48 pounds. Not bad. Not bad, but not what we're after. But that's a good sign. I mean, there's definitely big fish here. And maybe there's some grouper down there, too. That's what we're hoping for. Yeah, I think I might actually do some float fishing this time. I've been contemplating going after the big fin reef squids. I still need to get a unique one. I have not caught one yet. I've got up to a trophy. So, I think what I'm going to do here, as you can see, still do not have a one. I'm trying to figure out what more they want. Yeah, they like shrimp and gulf shrimp, which not too many other species here do. But they also like the jack mackerel and the anchovy. Yeah, I'm going to float fish for them and then... Yeah, I've already got a Japanese anchovy in this one. Let's just use that. Ooh, there's a humpback whale leaping off in the distance, and something else is jumping around, too. Yeah, we'll just set that out there and see what happens. I don't see what's jumping. I'm hearing something over there. Oh, dolphins. Yeah, they're dolphins. Cool. Little ambient species jumping around out there. That always keeps things interesting. We've got something on here. I think it's one of the big fin reef squids. Yep, it is. I saw the little tentacles. Yeah, he's just regular size, but we need much bigger than that. They for their size, they bring in pretty good cash, though. And they're not that all that tough to catch. 
hopefully something will finally bite on this because I really like to get this up and move it here a little bit. There are other places we could try. I'm not just, just not sure where we should try. That's the only thing I marked for the giant grouper. But, yeah, I think if we don't do too well here soon, I might just go up to the Tuna Highway, because that's going to be a lot more interesting. I'll be more sure to catching something. Alright, guys, we have been fishing here for quite a while. I've caught a, quite a few young big fin reef squids, but cannot seem to get a giant grouper to take a, take the, the bait. So I do think I'm going to go ahead and move up to the Tuna Highway, because that is just always more exciting, more interesting. I love trolling. And I think when I get the chance, I'm going to come back down here and finish it up with the giant grouper once I get a good spot. I'm trying to remember where the best spot was, and I don't think it was here. And I don't think it was here. I just don't remember where it was, honestly. Always a good thing is to look back at your old videos. <laughs> it might have been here. I don't remember. But like I said, I think I just want to go ahead and do the Tuna Highway. Which is way up here near what we call Sand Island. Got my navigation buoy. Hopefully I'll be able to fast travel. Sometimes there's not enough time and we have to wait a little bit. No, we can travel. We're good. And we are here and I'm already hearing fish jump, which is a good sign. Oh, what the heck is going on? Where are they? I don't know. We'll go ahead and get this set up this time. We'll sit there and use the trolling octopus. But one of the best setups for the big species here is to use a trolling octopus, three ounce, and then put one of those squid chains on there. I'm gonna use the biggest one here. Yeah, you have to put that on first. But I still have not caught the Trophy Pacific Bluefin Tuna, and I still haven't caught a unique Yellowfin Tuna yet. And I really, really want to get one. This might be a good opportunity for that to happen. I'm wanting to find out whether the Pacific Bluefin, and what is out there. There's definitely something big over there jumping. We're going to run right in the middle of them. I can see them on the sonar there at the top. Uh, those are yellowfin, which I'd be more than pleased to punch to catch, especially a unique one. Man, look at those. Aren't they beautiful? Magnificent fish. That is so cool, the way they set this up like that. Well, they're just everywhere. Let's keep that about about four percent. Go right in the midst of them, and I think we have us a bite already. Yep. I think we might have one, guys. Get that slowed down. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is a big fish. Holy crap! This is a big fish. Yeah, I think we might have met our qualifications with this one. Judging from all the yellowfin, that's probably what it is. Holy crap, this guy's tough. Think we're going to have a fight on our hands, guys. This may take a while. Yeah, I really hope it's either a unique yellowfin. I'd love for it to be a bluefin, but trophy bluefin. Because I want to find out if that's the biggest fish in the game. 
I know the Gruperzilla weighs 600 pounds, but that is technically not a real fish. <laughs> I mean, it's just an event fish that they made up. One of my viewers said that he caught a Pacific Blue Fit that weighed 500, and I think it was 32 pounds. That was even bigger than the unique marlin that I caught. So, if that's the case, that is definitely the biggest fish in the game, because I think it comes in even bigger than the, the bull shark from the Amazon. This guy is just not, just not giving up here. I'm hearing some other species jumping over here. I want to kind of get a look at it. Okay, he's coming now. Yep, I see him jumping now. I think they're more yellow fin. Yep. Good God, he's taking it out again. Oh, wow. He is just running with it. Yeah, if I pull it off to the side, when I was doing that before, I was able to get him in. Yep, they're yellowfin. Just amazes me. Graphics here is just amazing. <laughs> They're just jumping all over the place. But you see that little bit of lag there? That's been happening a lot recently. I don't know what's going on with the lag. Now he's coming back in again. Let's see if we how close we can get him in here. Two twenties, two teens two odds come on and now he's he's fighting me again gotta be careful though guys these guys have a, a masters at getting low line tension and getting right off the hook Now peace. He's just keeping me at bay. Yeah, I think this is gonna go on a while, guys. This is a strong fish. Much, much, much later. All right, guys. We have been at this for at least 20 minutes. This fish has been fighting me. He keeps going back out with it. He's gone back out to 300 feet several times. I've got him in the 200s and I get just... Now he's pushing the heck about going back over 100 again, which is really starting to get aggravating. Yep. He is... Definitely giving me one heck of a fight. This is the biggest fight I think I have ever remember having because well the unique striped marlin was pretty hard too but this one just seems like he holds his own and holds his own all right we might actually have him guys we might have him we might have him finally come on come on yep we got him we got him what is this oh my god a trophy pacific bluefin and look 552.941 pounds, guys. Oh my god, definitely the biggest fish in this game. Without a doubt. Look at it, he, he takes up the whole screen. 82,606 cash. 50,474 XP gained. This is a monster, even though it's not one of the monster fish. He is a monster. He made a baby out of that unique striped marlin. Holy crap. Look at this. I can't even see my head behind him. 
Yes, I am holding in my hands a 552.941 pound fish. Just holding it in my hands. <laughs> that is a monster fish. Could definitely get a lot of fillets off of him. Or steaks, actually. He would be steaks. Yeah, let's get a piece, good picture of him. All you can see is my waist and my legs. <laughs> And my fingertips. Wow. Yeah. I... I can't imagine getting one bigger than that. I don't know if we have leaderboards, but... This is definitely my personal best, and I can't Im imagine exceeding it other than Group Brazilla. And there is a, a monster marlin, but you have to... You do that multiplayer, but yeah, he's a he is definitely a monster. Huge. Well, that, my friends, was enough for one episode. I bushed. <laughs> anyway, guys, we just have to catch a few more to complete all the species types in this game. And that was one of them. In the last episode, we got the Japanese Amberjack. Yeah, we see it. We've got the albacore. We got the blue eyed. We still need to get the unique big fin reef squid. So we need to get the unique green job fish. And we need to get the unique mahi mahi. We need to get. Well, we got that one. We need to still get the ruby snapper, both trophy and unique. And the unique skipjack tuna, which really is kind of surprising. That's it, guys. We've got the unique striped marlin, so we're almost there, guys. We gotta get the unique yellowfin tuna. Mm. Well, we're getting there, guys. Slowly but surely. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please be sure to share, comment, like, and subscribe. And as I always say, guys, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.